Hello and welcome to Japanese Garden Bristol. I was just looking at this little woodland I made. I created a little while back. I think there's going to be a video coming up on YouTube on it. Look out for that one. But this is by Affordable Doors, part two. Uh, the screens I'm making for my um, DJ room come with a coil in. So what we're going to do, we're going to nip into the workshop and I'm going to show you how to make the frames. I'll see you after. Okay, so I've cut all the pieces up now. They're all ready to be made into the doors. Um, so what I do, I do get your measurements right for your door. Obviously, everybody's door will be a different measurement. So I've got my measurements right. Um, and what I do now, I've done the pilot holes on there. If you don't, it'll split. I got the 50 mil screws, two inch screws. And what I would do is, I can do this without dropping the frame. That sits on top and screws into the long length of the door. Okay, so I'll be making up four door frames that will fit into the area I want to put them in. Okay, so I'll get on and do that. And then I'll uh, get back to you when I'm done. Okay, so I've built the door frames now, ready for the grid to go in. I'm gonna start on the grid now, get the grid in. I ran out of screws, so I've got to go and get some screws to fit the grid in. Um, so I'll be back with you now to uh, show you how I um, make the grid. I put one of the door frames into the section where it's going into in my um, dojo room come koi room and uh, it fits well so um, I'll crack on and get them uh, the grids done I'll back in a bit okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna show you how I mark them all up and router them okay you see that that's the long the longest piece in the middle of the door centerpiece and you see I've marked it up just there um, so what I'm gonna do is the, the cross pieces um, I'm gonna show you how I mark them up now if you notice I've got one here already done I'll use that as a template for the others <coughs> okay so what I do is make sure they're square just put it all squared off and equal like that, can you see? I think you can see that. Okay, I'll put a clamp on. Clamp them into place. Keep it tight. Okay. And you notice I've got two pieces of wood here. When I router it, I've got to have something to push against so it don't move with the router. So I'll put those two pieces there. Get me pencil, uh, get me square, and then I'll use that one as a template to mark the rest of them. Like that. Like that. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So I won't lift it all up because they might all fall out and I don't want to start again. So when I get the router, I've got the blade in there. I've set it to the right level, so it's half in half. Half of this one, and then it'll be half of the, them as well. You can see that. Right, okay, so this, uh, it's gonna be a bit noisy again, but um, I'll show you how I do it. Right. half of the way and then I'll do two I'll go down the full way now I don't go in the full way but I need a little bit of trimming off to make sure they fit that's all Make 
sure that they will fit. What I would do is take take any one. So I take that one. I will take this one, and then I see if they go together. If they don't, then I need to trim it a bit more. Might need a bit of brute force on some of them because they might be a bit tight. So, let's see if this one can take it. Right. Okay, but that is one I've done earlier. So I'm gonna go with this one. Run it. See if this one I knock in, if it does then. Right, it's not. We have to give it a bit more of a trim. So gotta put them all back together and trim them up. But that's how I do it anyway. I'll sort that out and I'll get on with the rest. So there we go, um, I cut all them up, 28 of them, um, and four of the long ones. Frames around it now, but I'll lift that off. Okay. Just lift that off. Excuse me a minute. Put that frame down there. So there we go, that's, that's it there. And then that will sit as an insert in the frame and then call, create a grid. So what I'll do now, I'll put a pins in each one of these all the way down and then I will screw in all the ends and then it should become uh, stable and fit enough to hang as a door like my other ones on this workshop. So I'll go on and do that and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. There we go, built all four of them, screwed down the sides and a uh, pin in the middle. On the back I might see them better. There we go. So yeah, all four done. I'm not going to be putting them in for a couple of weeks. I've got more important things to do. I've got to get the koi out of the um, dojo room and uh, put them in their pond in the outdoor pond and then I'm gonna fit these after. So it's gonna be probably three weeks before I fit these, but I won't to you because it'll be the next uh, clip. Um, but there we go. Um, you can see why I painted the um, wood before I put them together, because now I don't have to go around the insides and paint them up. All I gotta do now is paint the frame on one side because the shower curtains will be going on the other side. So it's just a case of painting the front of it. And that's it. So there we go. I'll uh, update you when, I've, uh, when I'm putting them in. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so that's how I made the frames for the bifoldable screens. And next video, next week uh, in part three, there will, I will be showing you how I uh, make the screens. Now, it might be very interesting that video because I do stuff that I haven't done before. So uh, it might be quite amusing. Keep an eye out for that one. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.